This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Dubai, ahead of Dubai's Rising Star Show, promoted by D4G Promotions, live on ESPN and IFL. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Ahmed Siddiqui of D4G Promotions. How are you, sir, first of all? I'm very good, thank you very much, Coogan. Good to see you here in Dubai again. Absolutely. Um, we've just concluded the weigh-in. We had the press conference yesterday. Uh, how do you think both those events went? It went quite well, you know, we're, uh, we're quite excited uh, for this event, uh, Dubai Rising Stars, you know, it's, uh, a, lot of, a lot of the Dubai-based fighters are fighting, so it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a big accomplishment for us here, you know, in Dubai. So. We've spoken, obviously, over the last couple of years, and, you know, you've been putting your kind of foot forward uh, with trying to bring the local talent uh, in Dubai to the forefront and to the attention of everyone. So. How is that going? It's going quite well, as you see, you know, unfortunately, two, two fights had to be called off, you know, the world title and then you have another uh, cruiserweight fight was called off and, you know, everything happens for a reason. And now you see uh, a Dubai-based fighter, uh, Hasibullah Ahmadi from Afghanistan, he's going to be uh, heading an ESPN uh, Asia title, WBC Asia title fight. So, so I, you know, since, as you said, since we spoke the past years, now we've reached a good level, you know. I wouldn't say the level, uh, the goal, the goal is to, to reach a world title with a local based fighter, yes, but uh, you know, everything takes time and we're just taking our time and trying to do it in the best, correct way, so. Something you said that was interesting in the press conference yesterday, it's not always about trying to kind of bring the big, big names and the big fights, uh, which is always nice and is always good to Dubai, but for you, what's equally as important is to see guys that are from Dubai kind of start from that ground level up and build themselves up to, that would give you more satisfaction, wouldn't it, to see one of those guys winning a world title, especially here in Dubai? Yes, of course, you know, I'm based here, you know, we're, a, we're in a country that has not much boxing and we've created something from nothing, you know, in the past uh, 10 years, let's say, and. Uh, and, and f for us to get a, 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 the, bigger, the bigger names here, it's easy. Just take a big Coca-Cola arena and do it there and get the fighters and pay that money. That's easy, you know, it's just all about, you know, having the correct uh, financials and, and get them here. But, but the goal is not that. The goal is, 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 to, is to push uh, uh, the local based fighters. It doesn't matter which nationality, you know, it shouldn't be they shouldn't be specifically from the UAE, but any nationality, but the base in Dubai, and, and get them to rise up uh, on the as main events and, uh, and and reach the world title events, and get them have their own fan bases, and uh, and the exposure th comes through them, you know, because this is this is what creates a proper uh, ecosystem, and this is why we are here, you know, we're here to to promote them fighters based not just here, even regionally, you know. Like countries like Afghanistan is not being given much attention. Some countries in Africa, not much attention, you know, and some Asian countries, not much. And this is where we are. We need to push them, uh, uh, them, uh, uh, them fighters, you know. Dubai is, a, uh, it's, 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 you know, it's in a good location, I mean, around the Asian and African continents. So, so we need to push them fighters. And any fighter based here, we, we try to support them and push them. But, Again, you know, I'm a very realistic person, so we need to take things slowly and steadily, you know, as to reach that good level. We can't push that fight or just go on to the high and then lose and then destroy what we have built in the past years, you know. So we're taking it very slowly and nicely. In your opinion, why wasn't it happening five years ago? Why is it happening now? And it's not obviously just with your promotion, but there's, there's other people out there putting on boxing in Dubai more prominently in the last sort of two, maybe three years, but five, six years ago, it, b boxing in Dubai wasn't really heard of, was it? It wasn't, you know, people thought it's, uh, it's just, they tried to make money out of it, and that, that's not the case here in Dubai, because as I said, it's not a boxing country, you know, so, uh, and they used to just not uh, focus much on the fighters, just on the event, but what we are doing is really trying to really put focus on the fighters, invest in the fighters, you know, invest in the training, invest in the sparring partners. We sometimes fly sparring partners from outside just for the fighters to have proper uh, training. And, uh, and uh, you know, I don't 
I don't take credit from the previous events, never, you know, because everything had to do with the growth of this sport and that, you know, some good and bad events that came made us learn on how to make and achieve the best quality uh, events here. But as I said, you know, we, we try to put that focus in, in, in building the local base fighters and push other promoters that come here to push uh, to support and promote the local based fighters as well, you know, because as I said, it doesn't make, it makes sense of course, but it doesn't make much sense just to big, uh, uh, bigger names, you know, from the US or UK and then avoid the, 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 the local uh, talents, so. I think you've said to me before about people have come here in the past and just literally tried to chuck money uh, at events and, and, and fighters. It doesn't work like that, does it? No, it doesn't work like that. You know, here, uh, first of all, the government is very strategic, you know, in terms of what they invest in. If they see something that that brings their attention to Dubai, that uh, promotes Dubai, the sport is famous here, then then yes, they do. And now, now it could be that time, you know, because last week was an event. This week, uh, it's, it's uh, Dubai Rising Stars tomorrow. Then... Uh, in September, we have, I think, one or two other events, uh, you know, not us, other promoters promoting events. So, so it's, it's not about just come here and ask for the big, big money and, uh, you know, bring an event, make money and leave. No, you know, it's, it's, it's not like that anymore. Maybe it used to be back, back in the days, but not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Uh, something else, obviously, we've touched on uh, over the last few months or so. Uh, I think last week was meant to have been the projected date for uh, AJ and Fury. Uh, as that date passed, everyone always likes to mention that this should have been the day that AJ Fury happened in Saudi Arabia. But you, just as a boxing fan, you would have been kind of disappointed not to have seen that happen. Of course, disappointed, but that's boxing. You know, recently you've seen, you've been seeing a lot of fight being cancelled, you know, through different, different issues, injuries, this, you know, contracts, whatever it is. But you know, it wasn't the right timing, you know. It's, uh, you know, timing kills speed, like they say in boxing and, and everything else in life as well. So the, the correct timing could be later on and it might be an, even a bigger event once the right timing is there. So we're still looking that, forward to it. <laughs> that's very optimistic because I think now, obviously, Joshua has his fight with uh, Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury has to have his third fight with Wilder. So we see kind of two big obstacles there that where we were so close and now it seems like there's two kind of big obstacles in the way of making that fight. But I'm going to share your optimism that it could be an even bigger fight sh should they win those fights. Yeah, exactly. You know, what's meant to happen is meant to happen. Nobody could stop it. If Joshua wins, Fury wins, they fight. You know, if they don't win, they still... I, I believe they sh still should fight, you know. As it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a really huge fight, you know, no matter if the titles are online or not. But it's... it's no matter what the circumstances and the, the fights they fight in, I think they, sh they, they should still fight, you know. And uh, as I said, you know, nobody has control over that. This is heavyweight boxing, you know, one punch could change everything. So uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, just finally, I understand that you've got some big plans for the rest of the year to kind of put together some big shows with some big fights on it, kind of as we close in on the end of 2021. Yes, we are looking. Um, we are looking to have uh, a fight in November, hopefully. Um, uh, world title for sure. Um, hopefully we can do it this time at the Coca-Cola Arena as the restrictions have been uh, uh, eased down here by the government and the Expos coming, of course, uh, in October. So it makes really good sense to have a good quality fight uh, in November. You know, that time, hopefully a lot of people will be coming to, to Dubai for the Expo, so it makes sense to to finally have uh, uh, a nice world title event at the Coca-Cola Arena with a good amount of crowds. So we're really looking forward to that. And uh, you're going to hear some good news hopefully soon about uh, our up upcoming uh, events and uh, plans for the upcoming years, inshallah. OK, Mr. Siddiqui, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Appreciate your time and your hospitality this week. Uh, we look forward to a great night here at the Conrad Hotel. Uh, tune in on IFL TV if you're watching in the UK, but also ESPN for uh, America. So, yeah, have you got anything else you'd like to add? That's it. Just we'd love to see the support, you know, worldwide from everybody, you know, in, in terms of the events happening here in Dubai. And uh, uh, it's a bright future here. We're really looking forward to it.
Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, sir.